Here we go from the BB&T Center on this Saturday night. The Panthers and the Minnesota Wild. Cats could really use a W after some tough luck losses, and they'll go with Tim Thomas in the net against Josh Harding. BB&T brings us our goalie matchup. Josh Harding's been good for the Wild. He leads the league in goals against average, eighth in save percentage. He was thought to be the backup, but he is starting tonight. Tim Thomas, very good last game against Boston. Gave up that late one, but he got better as the game wore on. I expect big things from Thomas this evening. So the Panthers, second of the six-game homestand. Chicago in town on Tuesday night, defending Stanley Cup champions. There's a look at Tom Gilbert, the former Minnesota Wild. 63 games over the last couple of years. Paired up with Brian Campbell. Miko Koivu is the captain of Minnesota. Panthers have shuffled up the lines. Marcel Gotch begins with Huberdo and Kopetsky. Pretty much the lines that the the Panthers finished with the other night against Boston. Point shot here. Bouncing around in front. Loose puck. Gotch plays it over to the boards. Held in the zone again. Parisi in the corner. And now it's Koivu. Taken away by Gott. And the Panthers veteran center gets up to center and flips it in. See if the Panthers really get off to a better start. Kevin Eames had the first period the other night. was one of their worst of the season. Panthers have to quit playing catch-up hockey. Find a way to get that first goal. They've won the both games. They scored first. The other six in which they've given up the first goal. 0-6. So the start, very important. Spurgeon put it to the Panther line for the Wild. Mike Weaver back, winds it around for Boys. This is the one line that stayed together. Barkov, Fleischman, and Boys. Sent back in deep in the Panthers zone. Kulikov there ahead of Danny Heatley, the veteran. And Heatley now able to play the puck. Checked by Boys, but it rolls to the point. The point shot by Scandella, saved by Thomas. First shot on goal of the game. Comes a little more than a minute in. And Spurgeon. Moves it along for Scandell up to center. Good play by Gabranson stepping up. Allows Versteeg to chop it in. Versteeg with Gomez and Upshaw. Heatley now pressured by Gabranson. Up comes free to Brodziak. And that one went off the glove of Upshaw as he tried to drop it down. Up and out of play. And for Mike Yo in the wild, 500 on this young season, but they've been led by their power play. Nine of their 18 goals have been scored on the power play. Gotten some good goaltending. They made the playoffs last year for the first time in five years, did the wild. And for Kevin and Ian, the Panthers, it's all about the first period for me. They got to get off to a better start, a faster start. Love to see them play with that lead. They have just been playing from behind a lot. Yeah, tough way to go the other night against Boston. Final 40 minutes, Panthers played very well. Battle back to tie it at two. Or losing in the final minute. Cook, try to get it to the point. Upshaw got a piece of it. Just put so much pressure on your hockey club when you have to fight from behind every single time. Tim Thomas was great in that game and gave up that late goal, but it was unfortunate they played that catch-up hockey, but that desperation has to be there from the start. Steve picked off a pass, but couldn't break in with Upshaw cleanly. And Dumba loses it out at center, but Granlin, talented young center, Able to shoot in the Panther zone. Gilbert back. Granlin there with him. Nick Bukestad on now for the Panthers, along with Winchester, who's been playing some good hockey. He got that game tying goal in the third against Boston. Matthias on the other side. Winchester just keeps it simple. And that's worked for him. This is an icing on the Panthers. And Jesse Winchester with that goal last game against Boston. And even though he has to play that way, I think some of the star players of the Panthers have to play with that mentality, that grind it out, work it mentality that Winchester has. Winchester's been good on the penalty kill. He's on a two-way contract, which means he has a minor league salary. And because of that, he came in with some desperation to play in the NHL, and it has shown. And Gilroy, both on those two-way deals, have both performed well for the Panthers. Winning jobs. Rodine over to Suter. Ryan Suter, the former Nashville Predator, came over with Parisi. Summer before this one, those big contracts. Suter is something else. Goes about 29 minutes a night, right in prime at age 28. Leads the NHL in ice time, led the NHL in ice time last year. Plays half a game almost every single game. Amazing what he's able to do. Many thought he should have won the Norris Trophy last year. He did not, P.K. Subban did, but he is out there often and lots. 
Whistle as the puck goes into the Panther bench. Join the Panthers for the first Panthers live event of the season at Duffy's in Plantation, Tuesday, October 29th at 7 o'clock. Chris Bartsch will be there, so will Scotty Upshaw and Erica Branson. Hello, Billy Lindsay will be hosting the event. Looking forward to it. Yep, everybody come on out. Good group. Very engaging players that we have coming. Yeah, those are always fun. Yes. Players are honest, have a good time. Kind of loose, the fans ask the questions. Always always fun to see what people ask them. I'd like to get a couple <laughs> wins before then. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Who's puck at center? Spurgeon gets the red line. Sees some room. Moves in. Shoots on Thomas. And he'll hold it. And it's early in the season, but an important game, two and six, this homestand. We talked about, talked about it a lot. Just does not take long for games to become important in the NHL. Panthers have to start finding a way. This Minnesota team will grind it out. Don't give up a lot of goals. You're going to have to work and earn your goals. Like we touched on in the open, those second efforts will be pivotal. Draw to Thomas's left. Brodziak and Gotch. Free right at the dot. Who comes away with it? It's Gotch for Huberdeau. Flips it to center. Kopetsky gathers it in and shoots in. Stoner, the defensive back. Gotch with a good hit, but couldn't control the puck. And Brodziak couldn't clear. Held it at the line by Kopetsky. Behind the net, it's Gotch. Stoner is with him. Gotch continues to work. Kopetsky there as well. Gotch is away with it. Feeds it up to the point. The shot right on. Saved by Harding. And he'll hold on. Got to get traffic in front of the goaltender. Josh Harding's been good. Panthers able to keep that play alive. Kopetsky. The goaltender, though, you got to make an effort. Once this play gets back to Weaver, no one in front of the goaltender for the shot. Got to make sure you find ways to get in front of the net. Now Barkov out there for the offensive zone draw. Granlin, though, pulls it back. Jonas Brodeen, one of those good-looking young players, he's 20 years old. And he had a great year last season. Here's a look at Brodeen, the 10th pick in the 2011 draft. Here's what we have coming up. The rest of this six-game homestand. Panthers Live pregame always starts 30 minutes before faceoff at home. And then finally a road game a couple weeks from tonight in Washington. Panthers win this faceoff. Leichman for Weaver. The slap shot goes wide, though. That's an area we'll watch tonight. The faceoff circle. And Minnesota's the best faceoff team in the NHL. And it's going to struggle for the Panthers. It's going to have to bear down in the circle. Here comes Granlin. That is one key matchup to watch. You're right. Fleischman took it away and sends boys to center. Wild also give up less than 22 shots a game. They're first in the NHL in that department. So I would think, Billy, patience needs to be a key in this game. And you can't get away from your game plan. And we've seen the Panthers sometimes throughout a game they've been playing well and just maybe get a bit frustrated offensively. They start to push and get away from it and turn pucks over. And it leads to pucks going into your own net. So you're exactly right, Goldie. Turnover at center there, but Kulikov able to play it, but then he lost the puck. Picked off by Kulikov again. Gotch shoots in. Harding out of his net. Huberto bearing down. Harding rolls it around the wall. Koivu able to control. And right on the stick for Scandella, the defenseman sweeping wide, shooting, and Thomas will go up this and hold it. Zach Parise there. Back into his home state. A lot of years in a New Jersey Devil uniform and born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Come home to play for the home team and one of the game's best. They added him and Suter. The Wild had missed the playoffs for five straight years before last year. Parise and Suter come on board and they made it back to the postseason before losing in the first round of the eventual Stanley Cup champion, Chicago Blackhawks. Boy, that uh, series last year, that first game, we talked about Suter as Thomas trying to cover up here. Quinn Gilbert with a huge hit on Parisi. We'll get back to that. Puck in the slot and a shot right on. Oh, that went just high over the net. Thomas scrambles back to his feet. Top line for Minnesota with pressure. Koivu feeds it up to the point. Behind the net, it's Parisi out in front. The shot off the side of the net from Koivu. Koivu again. Panthers desperate for a clear here. Puck deflects. And it's taken by Upshaw, has a lead man. Versteeg is in on Harding. Saved though by Harding. It turned into a breakaway. As the Panthers found the puck at the blue line, I thought it may have been offside. They let it go. And Upshaw sent Versteeg in all alone. And 
You know, there's another chance early in the game. The Panthers have had a lot of those and haven't been able to cash in. A lot of times we've seen that. you got to be able to get that first goal. Up to the last second, had his head down and picked it up. He's lucky he did because Versteeg was wide open. It was a bad line change by Minnesota. But yes, another occasion, another chance. We've seen a number last game against Boston. Remember, Matthias and Tampa Bay had a breakaway. A lot of early chances to get that first goal. Yeah, it seems like all those games, you know, the, the Philly game, the Boston game, the Nashville game, now tonight, seems like every game the Panthers had those opportunities. Here's Matthias who just laid a big hit. And that, that, and that changes the complexion of a game so much. Yeah, huge. You get that goal to go your first, you get the goal to go your way. Weaver spins it around the boards, gathered in by Brad Boys. Kulikov jumping up. Kulikov still looking for that first point this season. Through Hardy. Fleischman puts it right in front. Brodziak spun back, plays it deeper in his own zone. Spurgeon, Panthers trying to work the four check here. Fleischman got a piece of it. Cross ice pass, comes out to center. Fontaine backhands in. If you wanted someone on a breakaway, Versteeg has to be up on the list, too. One of the most natural finishers on the Panthers. And after that knee surgery, Chris Versteeg starting to get better and better. You can see him gaining his confidence. Scored a goal the other night in the game against the Bruins. Now has two on the year. Seven and a half in here at the bb &T Center on this Saturday night. Glad you're with us on Fox Sports Florida. Panthers in the wild. Stoner dumps in, Campbell back to play it. Another area you'd like to see for the Panthers get some power plays. Last two games, haven't had many chances. Nice speed by Huberdo, but Kopetsky couldn't play it cleanly. Only four power play opportunities for the Panthers last three games. When you're struggling to score goals, that's one area you, you look at. That shot ripped high by Niederreiter. Nino Niederreiter, first round pick of the Islanders came over to trade. The Branson with a good shove. Niederreiter strong on his skates here. Try to flip it in front, cut off by Gosh. And a penalty now. And the Panthers gonna get a chance. We got a power play when we come back. Versteeg had himself a golden opportunity. We're still scoreless. Said the Panthers need power plays. Well, they get one. Nino Niederreiter. He's going to clip Gotch up high. Dangerous play. Viciously up high. Luckily, Gotch didn't get cut. If he would have got cut, would have been four minutes. Just two minutes. Panthers enjoy their first chance on the power play. Boy, that was really a careless one that time. See yeah. what the Cats can do. The Barkoff line is on. Face shield helped out there. Yeah. And Kulikov and Campbell with points. Off the draw. Free puck. Fleischman came in to help. Here's the blast by Kulikov. Saved by Harding. So right off the faceoff, Panthers work the three. See if they could get the game's first goal, get off to a good start, something you've been talking about throughout the pregame. Early in this game, Billy, here's Fleischman and Kulikov again. You, know, you want to get that presence in front of the net, and it's like difficult on Harding. Boyce gets to the forehand and shoots Harding the save, and he'll hold on. And the Panthers facing the best faceoff team in the NHL, now the power play, it's important. You see Fleischman help out, roll it. You need help from your wingers. So critical. Fleischman jumps out, wins that puck back. So it's not always the centerman that wins the draw. The winger Fleischman getting in and helping out. Barkov again on the draw. Not anymore. So boys goes against Koivu. Ninth year Koivu, all with Minnesota. Now their captain, he wins the draw. Kulikov nicely holds it in. Boys in a battle now, and the Wild win the battle and get the clear all the way down. And you touch on that net front presence. Go back to that last game, Boston. They put the Zdeno Char in front. Simple power play, point shots. It's imperative that you have a player in front screening the goaltender, especially when you're playing a goaltender that has the best goals against average. Harding does in the NHL. Been unbelievable. A little more than a goal a game for him. Stiff start in the last six. But that tells you, if he's seeing pucks, he's making the stop. Yeah, no question. Gilroy now on. So is Gomez. Campbell wings it around the boards. Versteeg out there as well. Panthers can't control. Brodeen. And it squeaks out to center. Panopka takes a shot. Glove by Thomas. And Panopka kept on going. Panopka causing problems now against all these Panthers. All those red jerseys. He's one of those guys that brings it every night, isn't he, Kanopka? 
Fun to watch, except when he's playing against him. He's a funny player. He's a tough guy. He's got the base, best face-off percentage in the NHL the last four years. And got a penalty here on the Panthers now, Bill. This is a bad offensive zone penalty, and you can't take these. This is a lazy penalty. It's going to go against Versteeg for hooking. Minnesota. Minnesota, number 21. Two minutes for hooking. Whoa. Oh, it goes against Minnesota. So wow. I, I so Versteeg. Well, Versteeg, the stick got caught in Versteeg, and I thought they were going to call, and, and Michael Yo is wondering, I thought they were going to call holding the stick on Versteeg. My I, yeah. I guess he got hooked. That's why the stick was in there. Check it out. My sincere apologies to Chris Versteeg. Lazy and I say a lazy penalty. Well, that's a lazy penalty on Minnesota. No, that's what you said. You said it lazy was. penalty. You didn't say against two. See, you should have just gone with yeah, it. Yeah, just broad jacket. Terrible penalty. Five on three. Great opportunity for the Panthers. They go four forwards. 22 seconds left in the first penalty. And the Cats win the draw. Here's Campbell. Big opportunity early in the game. Campbell and Fleischman play catch up hot. Now for Steve below the goal line. Dodge out in front. So is Huberdo. For Steve, puts it through. Past Huberdo. Final seconds of the five on three, it's Campbell. Moving in, setting up for Steeg, he hit the iron. That caught the post, held in the zone. It's now a five on four, Nita Ryer out of the box, able to get a clear. Chris Steeg trying to go high shelf, chimed it off the iron. Brian Campbell so good at looking at the goaltender, looking him off, making that pass down on the side of the net. He found for Steeg. another unlucky break. Still a five on four for more than a minute, Gilroy. Hammers it in the zone. Boys plays it behind the net. Kopetsky is out there now. See if the Panthers can get set up and then have Kopetsky cause some trouble in front of the net. That's his game. Kopetsky with a steal now. He got another penalty and now it looks like this one's on the Panthers. And they're calling it tight to start. Boys not happy about it. And the stick penalties. Brian Pachmara, the referee with the hooking call. Got to keep those sticks on the ice. Every time you reach into the midsection, we saw it twice. One on the Minnesota player, this time on the Panther player. It's not much. It didn't take much, but in on the hands and just move those feet and get after it. Referees seem to be calling it tight. You got to keep those feet moving. Keep that stick on the ice. Boys, first penalty of the season this first year, Panther. So now we go four on four. And barring any other calls, the Wild will have a 59-second power play when that's over. A lot going on here early in this game, first 11 minutes or so. Brodeen up at the line. Scandella shoots, blocked away by Thomas, bouncing behind the net. Granlin took it away from Gilbert. Gilbert staying with him. Scandella holds it in. You hear the linesman yelling offside, so the Wild come back out of the zone. They did clear the zone. And here's Gilbert up ahead for Scotty Upshaw. He'd love to get on the score sheet here tonight, looking for that first goal of the season. brodeen has got it. Upshaw lost his stick. And Danny Heatley climbs out to the neutral zone. Puts it over the Panther line. Gilbert is there. But Granlin, as it went through both of them, putting it out in front. Great play by Gilroy. Otherwise, Heatley would have been one on one with Thomas. Upshaw gets some room. Ten seconds left in the Brodziak penalty, and then the Wild will go on the power play for the first time in the game. Winchester out there, makes a move, gets in. Knocked to the corner. Got. Spins free. Taken away by Koivu. And now the Wild do have their man advantage going. Here's Ryan Suter. Ace up the right and brings us this penalty kill. See if the Panthers can get it done for 40 more seconds. Work along the boards. Winchester trying to dig it free. He goes down. Wild work it free. It's Spurgeon winding and shooting. Hit his own man in front. And we've got another call. Do you believe this? And it's Brian Pachmara, the one ref that's made almost every single call. Again. Five on three, 31 seconds. Unbelievable. The refs have been very active in this Florida, game. Number 17, two minutes for hooking. It's okay, the players will have to adjust, but they gotta make sure that it's consistent throughout. If you're gonna call it that way, make sure it stays that way the whole game at the bottom of your screen. Wasn't much, just a hook on the hands, but third time that we seem to get that stick up. Gotta keep that stick out of the midsection, it looks like this. 
So a five on three the other way. Panthers had their chance. And look out here. Danny Heatley up high. The four forwards with Suter. Wild have some talent out there. Suter feeds the goal line, gets it back, shoots Thomas the save. 17 seconds left in the five on three. That's kind of an understatement. Some talent. I mean, they got some premier talent. Minnesota Wild this year scored 18 goals, nine of them on the power play. That's good for fourth in the NHL. They're led by that man on point, and Mike Yeo, Mike Yeo has seen this team really live by the power play. Big kill for the Panthers. Gotch against Koivu in the circle. Huge face-off here. Tough to win it when you're two men down. See if they can do it. And Gotch does pull it back, but Thomas had to play it to the corner. And now Suter controls Pominville. Suter again. Gets to the middle, sends up Parise. And then once and twice, Tim Thomas stops Zach Parise right on the doorstep. Five on three, your best penalty killer is going to have to be your goaltender. And tracking the puck and Tim Thomas on that side of the net. Weaver's taking away the pass. He has to rely on his goaltender to make his that save. Tim Thomas able to do it. Here we go again on the draw. Koivu and Gotch. And Koivu's out, so Jason Pominville, the former Buffalo Sabre, steps in. Play to the boards. Parisi up high for Spurgeon, and now over to Suter. It's now a five on four. Boys is back. Suter. Pominville put it right through the goal mount. Carries over to Koivu. He goes cross ice. Suter up high. Slap shot skipped wide. Pominville may have gotten a piece of it in front. Pominville's got it. Parisi behind the Panther net. Out in front. Picked away by Campbell. Then scooped up by Koivu. Suter walks the blue line. Gets the middle of the ice. Spurgeon. He makes a move. Gets the dot. Puts it out in front. The turn pass. Thomas the save. Good little play there. Koivu. One-timer cross ice for Pominville. Watch by boys. Pominville holds. Cross ice. Campbell got a piece of it, but not enough to clear. Koivu again. Holding. Parisi right there in front of the net. Here's the shot. Parisi then on the backhand. And Suter again holds it in. Spurgeon shoots. Another pad save for Tim Thomas. Parisi played it around for Koivu. Full possession time for the Wild. And Tim Thomas again coming up large. Stopping Pominville. Thomas has 11 saves already. Well, we'll let you know the Nine Inch Nails Tension 2013 Tour comes to the BB&T Center Wednesday, October 30th. Go to Ticketmaster.com or call 954-835-SHOW. I thought Tim Thomas was magnificent last game, especially after giving up those couple early goals. He hadn't played in a while, and it's continued to start this one, 11 for 11. Off the faceoff, Brody puts it out in front, free puck. Panthers get to it. And Matthias, with a good effort, clears all the way down. So both teams survive the other's five on three. And both teams now 0 for 2 on the power play as we're finally five on five. Winchester is back. Fontaine banging with Matthias, and Matthias wins the battle. Played, though, by the Wild at center. Matthias, nice play to block that pass. And then he backhands deep into the zone. Gomez line jumps on for the Panthers. Brodeen behind his own net. Shots now 11-5 for Minnesota. They put a lot of pucks on net. Five of those shots on the power play chances. And now we get a whistle and a stoppage with 5-0-1 to go in the first. And we're still looking for our first goal tonight. Welcome back, everybody. We tried for uh, the coach there on the bench with, with Drew, but we had a little technical issue. We apologize for that, but we got 5.01 to go here in the first period. And the Panthers off the faceoff. Couldn't clear the zone. Niederreiter's shot was blocked. Amber Stieg ahead for Gomez. 
Upshaw up ahead of the play. Can he win the foot race? No. And there's the icing call on the Panthers. Now back to five on five hockey. Scotty Upshaw scratched a couple games ago back in that lineup. And for Kevin and Ian, he talked about this morning finding chemistry between this group, the new faces said, we find, found a bit of it, but it's still a search. I'm still looking for that chemistry between all my lines, all my D pairings. He's mixed and matched, and that's an important thing, finding that chemistry. Wild control, point shot blocked down in front. Gomez got a stick on it. And now it's Cook up the boards. Upshaw picks it off. He breaks out with Prestige. Upshaw plays it deep in the zone off the glass. For Stieg behind the net. Now it's Upshaw. The work continues. Gomez joins in the fray. Puck jumps in the air. Niederreiter finds it. Poked away by Gomez. Kulikov tried to shoot back in. That caught the linesman. Nice move by Gramlin. Gains the Panther line. Flips it to the wing. Good play by Barkov. He read it well. And Fleischman battles to push it out of his own. Gilroy pops it free for Barkov. Alexander Barkov into the offensive zone, sets up Huberdo. Feed over to Fleischman just under his stick. Kind of handcuffed him a tiny bit. The Branson throws it in front, tipped away by Suter. Now Fleischman for a good Branson. Fleischman again. And picked off by Suter. Try to clear, couldn't do it. Suter will try again. But jumping up is Gilroy to keep the play alive. Puck talking about Barkov's defensive abilities. Nice back check. Gets the puck and then all of a sudden through the middle of the ice. But because of that defensive back check, Panthers were able to get the puck, get the other way. Spend about 30 seconds down to the wild end. And Barkov's a complete package. He can play offense, defense, pretty much everything. Commonville sped in. Campbell played him well. And here comes Matthias. Trying to use that speed through center. Smartly chips in and gets after it with Scandella. They get tied up. Stolen behind the net. It's Kopetsky. Sharp angle shot blocked away. Gilbert and Kopetsky again. Knocked off his stick, but Gilbert holds it in. Scandella cuts it off ahead of Matthias. Spurgeon with a little bit of room. Top line now on for the Wild. Koivu, Parisi, and Pominville. Here's Campbell playing it away from Parisi. And Gilbert lifts it out to center. Kopetsky moved it to the Minnesota line. Panthers get a line change. And for the Panthers, it's keeping that Parise line in check. They're able to do that. Good chance they win the game. They've got no production from their second line. Have the Minnesota Wild. Christopher Steeks had a couple of chances, but nothing's gone in yet. We're scoreless. We'll be back. Late in the first period, we're still scoreless. The Panthers in the Wild. It's time for our cold, hard fact presented by Frost Brood Coors. And... Well, the trade, the Panthers send Keith Ballard, who's out of, the Van, out of the Minnesota lineup, to Vancouver back in 2010. Michael Grabner came over. He's now with the Islanders. Bernier is now with the Devils. And the first-round pick turned into Quinton Howden. You wonder always how trades work out years later. A lot of volatility. Trade happens. That could have been one of many cold hard facts if you did trade all the time. We have a lot of cold hard facts. <laughs> Fleischman breaking in. Sets up Kulikov with a shot. He missed it high. Do that six degrees of separation thing. I think I got it pretty quick in the NHL. I played with a lot of players getting traded around. Who was the best guy you ever got traded for? Best guy you ever got traded for? I don't know. Todd Simpson was the Calgary, in, or the captain in Calgary when I got traded from okay. here to Calgary. He was a good part of that team that had 98 points that year for the Panthers. Here's Fleischman shooting wide. I got traded for draft picks a couple of times. You don't know who they Little turned bit. out to be. No. 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 Didn't do that much homework on it, did you? One time was waivers. I did everything. No, I didn't do that much homework on it. I had the suitcase packed. Let's put it that way. Offside the call here with 135 to go in the first. And exactly what we thought. Scoreless game. It's been hard. That first period, Kevin and Ian, good news is, said last game against Boston may be our worst first period. This one's been better against Minnesota, and that's what you're looking for. There's been some improvement, but still no score on the board. Wild have not had a shot on goal since those power play chances. You figure this is the type of game that you're going to get against a team like this, the way they play. Just go back to what you said, goalie. 
Just that patience. Just make sure it's there and just stick with it. Grind it out, old-fashioned. Kopetsky behind the net with Huberdeau. Played around the boards. Gilroy on the pin. Oh. Now Scandella for the Wild. Oh, Huberdeau with a steal. Trying to get to the forehand. Plays it over to the boards. Kopetsky puts it down low. He leaves had a miserable start for the Wild. Put it right on the stick of Huberdeau. Allows the Panthers to stay in the zone. Gabranson fires. Fended off by Harding. Right on goal from Eric Gabranson. Kopetsky. And Gotch, for the pass a little too hot to handle, comes out of the zone with 45 to go in the first. Danny Heatley in the last year of a $7.5 million contract and only one assist in eight games for Mike Hill. Hasn't been, had a very good start. And he will not endear himself to the coach, making those passes right through the middle of the ice. No, sir. See if he gets back out there. <laughs> Stolen by Upshaw. Flips it over the line. Now it rolls right in front of the net. Stoner's got it. Upshaw again gloves it down. Koivu on the second try, chips it out. Free at center. Upshaw on the back check, took it away. And the Panthers clear one more time. Suter is back in the final seconds of this opening period. No icing here, and that'll do it for the first. Tough sledding out there, as we expected. Billy Tim Thomas was good when he needed to be. Made some big stops. And we are scoreless after 20. Best chances for the Panthers. Chris Versteeg had a breakaway, tried to go five hole, got denied. Had a chance on the five on three, hit the post. Panthers had their chances. Scoreless after one. All right, let's see what's coming up in our first intermission, Billy. We go down to the desk. Here's Drew. Including an interview on the You Can Play initiative from tonight's game here at the BB&T Center. Plus, we're going to talk some of these suspensions that have been going on in the NHL in recent days and weeks. Take a look at some of those. And, of course, Bill Lindsay will join us for Billy's Breakdown. That more coming up in the Lexus Intermission Report. For now, send it back to you guys in the booth. All right, Drew, thanks very much. And, uh, Billy, it was interesting. We saw both teams get a five-on-three during that first period. Both goaltenders did their job. They did do their jobs. And the best penalty killer is your goaltender in those type of situations for the Panthers, though. Facing a tough power play in Minnesota. You want to stay out of the penalty box, so that's kind of playing with fire. But overall, pretty good. All right, let's go downstairs. A guy that's been better than pretty good. Jesse Winchester joins us. Uh, First-year Panther, Jesse. What has worked for you to earn this spot with the Panthers and keep this spot and keep your ice time? Uh, I don't know. I, I've been given a great opportunity. Um, you know, I just try to work hard every day and have fun doing it. So uh, I guess that's the secret. Uh, Jesse, you've been a really big key on the penalty kill, that second effort goal last game against Boston. And uh, on that two-way contract, just a lot of desperation from yourself has really been the difference in your play. Uh, it just seemed to really been bringing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't try to think about contract too much. I just love playing hockey. And, uh, you know, I was away from uh, the NHL for a little bit and uh, always believed I could come back. And that was my goal coming into the season. What do you need to do the last 40 minutes? Obviously, tough sledding against this team, Jesse, there. You know, they're pretty tight defensively. What do you need to do to uh, to solve them, if you will? Yeah, it was a bit of an ugly period. Uh, I think we got to stay out of the box. Um, you know, we did a great job killing, but uh, that tires out some of our big boys who are out there. So, um, you know, just get pucks deep and really uh, force the issue down low and take pucks to the net. All right, Jesse, we appreciate the time. Good luck the rest of the way tonight. All right, thank you. All right, Jesse Winchester on that line tonight with Bukestad and Matthias. And, you know, Billy, sometimes it's all you need. Guys, keep it simple, <laughs> grind it out, get the puck out, and go up and down that wing. Yes, yeah, north-south hockey, straight lines. Jesse Winchester able to do that. And coaches will always tell you, you get in trouble if you go east and west. So play in those straight lines. No score after 20 minutes tonight. The Wild and the Panthers. <laughs> Panthers hockey on Fox Sports Florida is brought to you by Plumbers911.com, where emergency plumbing service is just one click away. And by Accurate Collision, the official collision shop of the Panthers. Game two of a six-game homestand for the Cats. They hope to throw the rats at the end of this one. The Panthers looking for a win, taking on the Minnesota Wild. We're scoreless after 20 minutes, and our intermission is coming up. Stay with us on Fox Sports Clark. We are set for the second period. Kevin and Eanes Panthers, no score against Minnesota in that opening period. There's Michael Yo the other way, giving some instruction. And, well, kind of like we expected, Billy, a tight, low-scoring game. 
It is, and it's going to be ugly goals probably that's going to get the job done. Gotch, Huberto, Kopetsky begin the period for the Panthers. Here comes Parisi cutting in, giving to Pominville, put on goal, stopped by Thomas. And then Koivu put one right through the goal mouth. So right off the draw, that top line for the Wild, creating an opportunity. They get the shot, though, with the rebound. Panthers able to pick up their men, eliminate those second chances. Thomas will always make that first save. Got to make sure you pick your players up. Jacob Marchstrom backing up Tim Thomas. Scott Clemenson has been sent to the AHL San Antonio and expected to be in the lineup tonight for the Rampage. So we'll see how it all plays out. The Panthers with three healthy goalies. Suter for Pominville. Couldn't gather it in. And Gotch does. Breaks out with Huberdeau and Kopetsky. Marcel Gotch gives to Kopetsky. Sticked away by Harding. Gotch with Suter to the boards. Gotch goes down. Panthers trying to change lines here. Fleischman jumps on, as does Boys. Suter. Fleischman got a piece of it, but it carries out to center ice for veteran Danny Heatley. Weaves his way over the Panther line. Heatley winds and fires, blocked, and deflected up and out of play. Panthers had some chances to get that first goal. Came on the, Chris of Chris for, uh, on the stick of Christopher Sneak. One was on a breakaway. Good play at the blue line. He was off to the races as Upshaw finds him. Tried to go five hole against Harding. Got to keep creating those chances. Then five on three. Campbell, you can see that look off on that side. First he got stick on the ice and chimed it off the iron. Those are the two best chances for the Panthers. Barkoff won that face off in his own zone. We talked about that right off the top. The Wild destined the NHL in the circle. Panthers held their own against Boston, who I believe was third best over the game the other night. And they've done a good job. The Panthers have won 12 of the 22 in the circle tonight. Up in the Panthers' own here, though. Heatley checked by Gilroy. Gilroy keeps working him over. Danny Heatley's a big body. Barkoff in there, too. Barkoff works it free. Oh, and then Fleischman with a great play on Brodziak. He was ready to tee one up, point blank. like Brodziak would have himself a golden opportunity, but Fleischman would have lifted the stick. Fleischman is responsible for the defenseman, but y'all can also help out against the wingers if you're down low enough. Heatley breaks in for Fontaine, cuts to the middle, look out here, fans on the shot. And then Fleischman again on the back check. A couple of close calls, some open wild players with some good looks. But they didn't get the shots away, and Fleischman defensively doing a nice job. The Branson checked by Niederreiter. And Gabranson goes down. Boyd steps in. Gabranson again gets it ahead for Gilroy. Goes off the glass, but not out. Dump a shoot saved by Thomas. Panthers clear the rebound of the point. Stoner holds it in. Minnesota with some pressure here. The opening two and a half of the period. Spending time in the Panther zone. Thomas out of his net. Got it to Gabranson. Takes the hit from Niederreiter. Granlin in front. And finally a penalty. And it's almost like that was going to be a matter of time with them spending so much time in that Panther zone. Minnesota earned that power play through that hard work. About a minute, minute and a half down in the Panther zone. Four to number 14, two minutes for hooking. And a hooking call. The hooking penalties and it's all about keeping that stick on the ice. Those hooking penalties are not good penalties, but that came out of fatigue. When you get tired, you stop moving your feet and you take those kind of penalties. Panthers were tired and that cost Fleischman to get that hooking call. So the Wild, a little burr in their saddle out in the second period. And now on the power play, nice effort by Gilroy to clear the zone. Winchester got a piece of it, it jumps up and out of play. So the Wild with a third power play of the game. And this isn't the type of situation really we've seen this year in these games. Panthers got themselves in trouble in spurts. It happened to be in the third period against Nashville, beginning of the game the other night against Boston, and now at the beginning of the second. And you have to be able to withstand those type of spurts and get out of it with no damage done. But that's just Minnesota right there outworking the Panthers and earning a power play. They've got five shots on their power play chances, including part of a five-on-three. Panthers also in the first half. An abbreviated five-on-three. Rodine for Koivu. Picked up by Parisi. Drop pass Koivu. Up high, Spurgeon shoots wide. Koivu plays it off the end boards. Picked off by Winchester. 
Virgin gets back. Suter over to Koivu. Wild break in over the line. Picked off though by Kulikov. Taken back by Spurgeon. Parisi up to the point. Koivu now. Floats one over to Suter. He's got to settle it down off the wall. Comes back up high for Koivu. Spurgeon throws it on the goal line. Thomas way out to meet the shot. Tim Thomas would not allow Parise any room there, Bill, and he basically shoved it into his glove. It's the aggressiveness of Thomas. Parise second in the NHL coming into this game on shots on net with 43, but you see, he just comes out, and there is absolutely no way Parise could take that puck to the net. Thomas was in his face before you knew it. You got to love the mentality of Tim Thomas when he plays the Nets. Gotch again, strong in the circle. Campbell stepped in, but Niederreiter uses the big body to protect the puck along the boards and gets it up to the point for Odin. Over to Dumba moving in and shooting. That was blocked, and the shot goes wide from Granlin. Loose in the slot. Fired, and they score. Brodeen took the shot and found its way through the wickets. And the Wild have the game's first goal, a power play goal. It changed directions on the way to the net. I think it hit a Panther stick. Brodeen gets the power play goal. Minnesota gets the lead. Right there, it yeah. just hit Jesse Winchester's stick, trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, it caused the harm. Got that stick into the shooting lane, changed directions on Tim Thomas. Just enough between the legs. So Brodeen, we talked about him, 20-year-old defenseman, has his third goal already this year. But all that time early in this period in the Panthers' zone leads to the power play and then leads to a goal. And look out here. Brodziak is in winding and shooting. Kulikov got a piece of it to send it wide. Cook shifts down below. Puts it out in front. Thomas cut it off, and he'll hang on. Golden Boy Boxing Live is back at the bb &T Center on Tuesday, November 26th. Former world champ Antonio Tarver will be here. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or call 800-745-3000. Panthers need to pick it back up now. One of the keys to the game was the details. Well, Minnesota comes out and works hard for a couple of shifts. They don't score on the shifts, but they earn a power play, and that results in a goal. And those are some of the little details coming out with that work ethic that led to the goal for Minnesota. Gilroy blanketed by Kanopka. Newstad is out there, Minnesota native. Played for the University of Minnesota for three years, and now Matthias to center. Try to chip it in, couldn't do it. Oh, and then Kanopka got tied up with Bayou as two wild players went down at center. Branson back behind his own net. Nearly five minutes into the second period. Big hit there, Matthias never saw it coming. He went down. And it was Koivu, the captain, throwing the shoulder at Matthias. And now Koivu breaks down the wing. Koivu lost it. Fontaine picks it up. Backhander off the outside of the net. As Boy's got a piece of that backhand shot. Ryan Campbell finds Gilbert. And ahead for Brad Boys. He'll dump in. Rodine is back. Boys is with him and knocks it free. Fleischman behind the net. Trying to gather it in. Poked off his stick by Koivu. Gilbert plays it back for Bartov. He'll let one go. Knocked down in front. Free puck. Fleischman going down. Couldn't get the shot off. End of the shift for Koivu. And his line. They'll stay out there, though, as they're in the offensive zone. Barkov, under major pressure, gets it free to Boys. He whips it out. And this Minnesota team, and they only give up 21.8 shots per game, lowest in the NHL. Panthers only nine as we're mere, uh, nearing the halfway point. Boys is in, centering feed. Back checking, Granlin, and he races through center ice. Granlin is down the wing with it, sends it out in front, deflected. Huberdeau got it out of his zone with a wild. With it right back in, glove down. Weaver got a piece of it, and Kulikov sends Kapetsky over the line, trying to get around. Scandella could do it. And the low shot total for the Panthers, and if you get back to it, we haven't seen three on twos 
two on ones, just that one breakaway by Versteeg. Minnesota's not going to give you odd man rushes. When it comes down to a five on five hockey, you want to get shots against Minnesota. The ball is down to outworking them. Here comes Niederreiter. Gabranson got back beautifully to recover. But it's taken away by the Wild again from Kopetsky and Scandella. Behind the net, Niederreiter. Coming out in front, spins it on goal, and then tucked right through the goal mouth. Minnesota with a concerted effort deep in the Panther zone, and they've been strong in the opening seven and a half minutes of this period. The goal came on the power play. Brodziak gets to the forehand. Knocked away by Gotch. Brodziak with Cook. Cook's got the puck. Brodziak shoots. And now it's good Branson. Panthers unable to clear again. Here's Heatley behind the Panther net. Hit by Good Branson. Cut off by Fontaine in the corner. Gotch in there as well. Gotch gets it to Huberdeau. And finally, Gilroy. They close on him well, and he's forced to send it all the way down. And this will be an icing on the Panthers. Wow, the Wild are dominating early in the second. The Panthers Foundation presents the Ford Faceoff Gallon Casino Night presented by Ultimate Software. It's next Wednesday night right here at the bb and Center. It'll be in Club Red by Stoli. Paul Andrea, come on out and enjoy yourself. 754-368-2033. Might have to be careful here. Best Faceoff team, you got a tired group on the ice. Not sure if you use your timeout here, but yes, it looks like a good decision by Kevin Anin to call the timeout. I think you had to. Minnesota's been spending a lot of time down in the Panthers' end. They've been outworking them, and you got a tired group on the ice against the best faceoff team. You can ill afford to lose a faceoff and have another goal scored on you. Good use of the timeout by Kevin Deneen. All right, this is the second of the six-game homestand for the Panthers. Next time the Cats are on the road, two weeks from tonight, we're in Washington against Alexander Ovechkin and the Capitals. And then you see Boston, Ottawa following that. Jet Blue takes us on the road with the Panthers. And, you know, the two and six start, Billy, games like this, so pivotal. And here in the second period, what, what needs to happen now? Because first part of this period has been all Minnesota. What do the Panthers need to do to counter? I'm lining up against you. I'm going to be better than you. I'm going to outwork you. Minnesota's come down, men them against men. They're starting to win the battles. So it just gets down to the individual work ethic and winning your own battles. And for the Panthers right now, they've got to find, tilt the ice back in their favor. All right, after the timeout, Gotch and Koivu. Panthers have done a great job. Amazing how things work out, huh? They've been working at it hard. Obviously, it's paying off. They're doing a great job in the circle tonight against this Minnesota team. Panthers winning 59% of the draws so far. 12.04 to go with the stoppage in the second. Minnesota's broken through on the power play goal by Brodeen. Trying to find something. It's been a tough start to the second period as Minnesota has come out, really dominated in the work area, got a power play because of it, ended up with that power play goal. Panthers win the faceoff, but Parisi pressured Gilbert. Parisi from the sharp angle, and Thomas will cover up. Here in this second period, the Wild out shooting the Panthers now, 8-2. to two. And it's been basic for Minnesota. It's been that line, their top line. Parise has done the damage, also on the power play. Now 10 of their 19 goals on the season have come on the power play. That's been the success of Minnesota. So the two areas you're looking to shut down is this Parise line and that power play. Put out in front, but cut off nicely by Brian Campbell. Rodin. And Gomez now with the puck. Rodin now with six points on the season. Three goals and three assists for the young defenseman. He he helped, yep. Helps him as well, paired up with Suter. He <laughs> does. He wanted a lot of Calder Trophy talk last year. Cooper won, won the award. Rodin got a lot of attention. And he's playing big minutes right off the get-go for the Wild. Looks like quite a fine in the draft. First round, pretty high pick. Versteeg sends it deep in the zone. Gomez after it. Kulikov trying to get back. Fleischman there to help. Kulikov and Mitchell went head over heels. Both went down in a pile. Panthers somehow need to mount some offensive attack here in the second period and get some pucks on Harding. Scandella. Just flips it out. 
And here's Kulikov, climbing to center. Fleischman along the boards, knocked off his stick. Still goes back to, you still got to have that patience. You haven't had it. Make sure you can't start forcing pucks through the middle of the ice and taking those extra chances and cheating trying to get that offense. Well, the Wild just seem to be positioned perfectly every time, huh? Here comes Heatley. And Gilbert got a piece of that. Barkov with some space goes the other way. Finding Gilbert jumping up. Tom Gilbert, drop pass. Barkov with a chance, walks in the feed for Huberto. Saved by Harding. What? Good break in there by the Panthers. If you want to get some players up on the rush, then get the def defenseman jumping up in the play. This time, Tom Gilbert, 77, the defenseman, and then three consecutive drop passes. On the stick of Huberto, hits Harding right in the chest. But Gilbert jumping up in the play, able to make that play happen. Offensive zone draw here. And Kopetsky jumped into the circle, got a piece of it. Brodziak along the boards, back checked by Kopetsky. Huberto bumps Fontaine. Huberto gets high stick in the face. Panthers gonna go on the power play. They caught Huberto up high. And again, Huberto is right in there battling. And the Panthers will get a power play chance. High sticking on Fontaine. Justin Fontaine in the sin bin, two minutes for high sticking. It was because the Panthers got an offensive zone faceoff and Huberto got his nose dirty. He would end up getting clipped up high by Fontaine. So the Panthers, just over the midway point, looking to tie it up. Gomez will take the faceoff here with Versteeg and Huberto as well. He won it, and Huberto gives it a Kulikov over to Campbell. See if the Panthers can answer back Minnesota's power play goal. Kulikov swings it over to Huberto, moves into the lane. Back pass for Steed, shoots, Harding the save. He saw it all the way. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Have to get players in front of the goaltender, Harding. Set at the top, he leads the league and goals against the average, and there has to be a commitment to get there. Good puck movement, though. You need that on the power play. It's quick off the stick for Steve, or sorry, Gomez trying to get there, but he got pushed out of the way. But good puck movement, they get that shot. And as you said early on, Billy Harding, giving up just about a goal a game. Tough to beat him on a shot he's gonna see. Redirect, Not easy. Redirection screens. Kulikov holds it in at the point. Now Huberto sets up shop on the right side. Cross ice for Campbell. Gomez now trying to get to the front of that net. He's there. Campbell along the boards. Cross ice, Huberto has a lane and shoots. He misses the net wide and it carries out. Trying to get fine with that big blast. Missed the net and goes all the way around. Sometimes against the goaltender when he's making those saves, trying to perfectly pick those corners. It's almost like the Wild are okay with. And if Harding can see it, we'll let you take the shot. For the power play, that's a philosophy. Keep everything in the outside, let the goaltenders make the saves. Cook the other way with Mitchell two on two shorthanded. Cook controls, backhander on goal, goes high actually. Thomas may have gotten a piece of it. Stoner shoots that hit Campbell in front. Now Parisi on the PK. 45 to go in the Panther man advantage. I killed penalties and the philosophy was protect the middle of the ice. Just leave everything to the outside. So that's the philosophy and just the goalie can see it. So they're supposed to make those saves. And that's why traffic's so important. If you get shots from the outside, then that traffic has to be there. And hopefully they can get set up on the power play here. Kopetsky out there. This one squeaks through. And Parisi shorthanded. One-on-one -on -one with Gilroy. Parisi lost control. Kopetsky chips it ahead. Barkov bouncing puck settles it down. Lead pass. Gilroy is in. Tries to make a move. And Ryan Suter is like a rock back there. Gabranson did get a piece of it to hold it in, but he saw Parisi and hustling back is Gabranson. Nice play, Eric Gabranson. Tell you what, he could have gambled after he knocked that puck down, but he saw Parisi. That's super awareness by Gabranson. He knew immediately he had to get back in a hurry. Cut him off the pass. Not only did he cut him off, he put him to the seat of his pants. And Parisi is quick as a defenseman. you got to be aware. Terrific awareness. So we're back to five-on-five five play. Seven and a half now left in the second. Still... A tight one nothing game. Minnesota's goal on the power play early in the period. Cook shoots, it deflects and goes high and out of play off the netting. And now good Branson shoving with Niederreiter. Niederreiter, he, he can get in there and bang. He's a big body. And Derek Branson right here, a great defensive play.
perfect stick in and then finish it doesn't get any better than that against the star player stick on the ice to eliminate the shot once the shots eliminated put them down that's how you play defense that is absolutely textbook by Gabranson, and then you see at the end of it just never quits on the play that's how you have to play against superstars yeah again you also like that's the end of the play the beginning of it was the awareness at the minnesota yes. blue line to turn around only streaking down the wing and you just touched on Niederreiter and those two players. Niederreiter leads Minnesota in hits, so the physical presence. But I don't mind those little altercations after the play. Anything to do your, uh, anything to get yourself involved, to do it. That's what I used to do. If I was playing bad, I used to get the scrums, maybe a fight, anything to check myself in emotionally. Uh, say, mind them. You welcome them. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of times how I got involved in the game, especially if I was struggling. I definitely wasn't going to get it through offense or handling the puck. So I had to find different outlets and avenues to get my game where I could be a, be a factor in the game. Wild patient here. Panthers wouldn't let him break through center. Good job by the Panthers through the neutral zone. Now sent deep in. And Gilbert there. He gets hit but pays the price to make the play for Weaver. Then Weaver with a shot for Koivu goes down. Huberto gains the line. Try to get it to Gotts, but it's skipped away. And now it's Palmonville. And Koivu. Stoner takes a wrist. They're blocked away by Thomas. Nice little feed there by Campbell. And Fleischman's to center. He'll flip it in and go after it with Stoner. Stoner there first. Fleischman rides him to the boards. Fleischman digs it free. Good work. And now Kulikov has an opening. Fires. He misses the net. Campbell able to hold it in for Barkov. And then the pass doesn't connect with boys. Here come the Wild the other way. Fontaine puts the brakes on. Centering feed. There's Barkov nicely back on D. Boys gains the line and shoots high. Couple of chances there. Panthers missed the net. Fontaine gets through traffic. Fontaine on the backhand. Thomas the save. Here's Suter chipping one into the circle. Gomez, look out, lost it in front, but then cleared away by Fleischman. Start Panthers need a change here. Yeah, starting to open up, get some flow. Starting to get the feet moving. Fleischman created a chance by just dumping it into himself instead of trying to carry it in over the blue line. Kulikov with Cook closing on him, and Kulikov never got the red line, so it's an icing call. And that was a close race. I thought, I thought the Panthers may have won that race. That anyway. was tight. Yeah, that's tough. We'll take a look at our red line energy rest of the game. Christopher Stegen in the first period, a breakaway all alone on Harding. Tried to go five hole. Never did make it. That's our red line energy rest of the game. 519 now left in this second period. Tough sledding, a one-nothing game. Rodine early in the period on the power play. Unfortunate break for Tim Thomas. It deflected off a Panther stick and dribbled through. Boys skates out of his own zone after the draw. He dumps in, but it caught the netting up and out of play for another stoppage. Minnesota on top at the bb &T Center by a goal. Alexander Barkov, Barkov able to play both ends of the rink as a forward. When you're tired, you're taught to go back to the middle of the ice. Watch Barkov here in the communication. I'm tired. Where do I go? I go back to the middle of the ice. Eliminates that three on two and turns the puck over. That is just smart hockey by a young hockey player. As a forward, you're always taught to back check to the middle of the ice. Let your two defensemen do everything. He comes down. He stops between the faceoff dots and he gets the puck. That kind of awareness. He just turned 18 last month. Pretty remarkable. He's been playing in the men's league over there in Finland the last two years. Here's Upshaw shooting save. Big rebound in front for Steve. Couldn't gather it in. I thought he meant like men's league. They have senior men's league. No, 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 no. Real men's league. Yeah, I mean a real men's league. Oh, not the over. Not beer league. No. Okay. <laughs> not a local <laughs> men's league that you might play a game or two on no. for, for a pizza after the game. Yes, hey, Billy, we'll, we'll feed you after the game. You want to play? That's it. Scott Gomez has been helping out Jonathan Huberto a lot, talking to him a lot. Gomez, a couple Stanley Cups with the New Jersey Devils, and one of those veterans they've added, and he's been a good communicator, and he's helped out with some of these young players. Gomez, Versteeg, and Upshaw on that line together. Gomez and Upshaw have had success against Minnesota. They both averaged nearly a point a game during their career. They love to get one. Less than five to go now here in the second. 
Brodeen on the power play earlier in the period, the only goal. Kanopka dumps in. Good Branson with Bayou. Ooh, oh. Good Branson hard to the board. Bayou gave him a shot. Gilroy jumps him and just hope Good Branson's okay. If Good Branson did this, he would be given a five in a game. Yeah, no question. We've seen it before. Five. Let's yes. see what the call is. It's a good point. How many times have you seen Good Branson happen to like that kind of play? And then yeah. well, he's right back up. That's a good thing. <laughs> and Eric Good Branson. And when you and I have talked about this, Bill, he's got meanness to him. I mean, Eric Branson has that bite to his game. It's not manufactured. He just has it. He's got a whole lot of meanness in his body. There's Kanopka. Kanopka's a tough guy on the other side. Yes, he is. Branson won't back down, but the play, the, the arms of the ref, interesting to see if this is five minutes in a game or what happens with this kind of call. A dangerous play. I talked about the intermission. When you see the numbers, you got to pull up. Veyu just pushes him from behind dangerously. Shoulder into, he crashes into the boards and got him a bit on the side. Two minutes, Billy, for boarding. Okay, we should, well, we've seen it go the other way for Gabranson. and that's all I'm going to say with yep. it. I'm okay with the call, um, but we've seen it the other way, but Panthers get a power play out of it as Bayou goes to the penalty box, a dangerous play. Lucky Gabranson's okay. Boarding, nonetheless, the Panthers get a chance late here in the second. All right, Eric Gabranson has been active here tonight. Let's see what the Panthers can do in their fourth power play of the night. Trying to shake it off. They go with the Barkov line here. And this power play brought to us by Fuse. Campbell and Kulikov will play the points. See what the Cats can do. And again, Billy, to your point, traffic in front going to be so key here. Going the, to that net. The Panthers have been good in faceoffs. They become magnified on the special teams. A little conversation between Evan and Ian. And yeah, I'm wondering sure why it's not five. Lobbying for a few, a, a bigger penalty for sure, yeah. Here we go, and Cook quickly clears it all the way down. And there's that lost draw. You love to win draws at the start of the power play because it allows you to get instantly set up. All of a sudden, you lose it, got to come back in your own end and then try and get up the ice and get it set up. Markov had been four out of five in the circle up till that point. Now Kulikov plays it around the boards and Boys gives to Fleischman. Nice speed for Barkov. Back again, Fleischman. Panthers set up. Kulikov able to control, slides down low. Finds Fleischman shooting and Harding with a save. Good setup by Kulikov. Fleischman shovels it up high for Campbell. Now a shot, Harding to save on boys. Panthers are getting all kinds of shots from either face-off circle, but Harding's seeing them every time. And that's one way. You want to get the goaltender moving side to side. Those cross-ice passes are effective on the power play with those one-time shots, but you can see Harding, how well he's playing, how well he's tracking the puck. Very quick side to side. You see why his goals against is 1.15 here this season. Koivu got a piece of the puck at center. Putting the pressure on. Versteeg gets away from him. Here's Versteeg over the line. Cross ice Campbell. It jumped up in the air. Campbell couldn't reach it. And now it chips up and out of play into the Panther bench. The draw will come back to center ice area. And those cross ice passes attack that middle of the box, attack the seam. Harding, the quick push with the left leg, able to get that blocker on it. Stoner back in his own end after the face off, throws it to the Panther line, and Kanopka does the rest. They use penalty, the boarding on Good Branson has half a minute to go. Gilbert. And now Gilroy. Back again, Gilbert and Versteeg at the line holds. Versteeg looking for some room. Gives to Gilroy. Cross ice never got through to Huberdo. And that's a tough pass to make. They've been trying to attack. We've seen that middle of the seam. Those cross ice passes for the one-timer. He can get them through and get that blast. It's a way you can get some goals. But those are extremely high, high, high difficulty passes. Harding stops it behind his net as the power play comes to an end. And Minnesota's penalty kill has done the job here tonight. Panthers 0 for 4 in the man advantage. Only goal in the game, a power play goal by the Wild. Good effort by Upshaw. Hill swinging around the boards. Kopetsky is there. Backhander blocked away but picked up by Goff. Brodeen with Upshaw. Gets some help from Brodziak. Campbell over to play it but threw him. 
And Cook chops it over the Panther line. Kulikov turns. Kulikov to center. He'll give it a view stat. Poked away by Brodeen. Matthias cleans up. Kulikov at the point with a blast deflected on goal by Matthias. And Harding is able to make the stop. Have you taken a tour of Club Red by Stoli yet? Well, it's the hottest club in South Florida. Center ice seeds for hockey, all inclusive. Call Sean at 954-835-7277. There's what you're looking for, traffic in front. The blast by Kulikov. Turnover, Matthias with the redirection. Yeah, Kulikov's been active offensively tonight. That was a smart, that was a 50-50 play. Jumped up, kept it in. Nuts. You saw the goal against Tim Thomas. It was redirected by his own player, Winchester, but that one was redirected by Matthias. And those are the toughest plays for goaltenders because they're reacting to the shot. Anytime they react to the shot and it gets redirected, good chance it can squeeze between those legs. Yeah, it seems like the, I mean, the way they're going to get one is going to be like that. They got to make life difficult on Harding. Kulikov again able to hold it in. And another time for Kulikov. Winchester puts it behind the net. Matthias after it. Campbell slides down. Panthers trying to push offensively here. It's Bugstad. Puts it to the corner. Winchester behind the net. Matthias. He loses Niederreiter. Matthias trying to get out in front. They cut him off. Feeds the point. Campbell shoots wide. Here's Kulikov firing it to flex high through the slot. Campbell again. Good shift by this Bugstad line. Here's Kulikov one more time. Campbell again. Great spin move. Pushes it for Bugstad at the end boards. Campbell gets it back on a deflection. Winchester fires high. Final minute of the period. Winchester, Matthias, and Bugstad able to keep the puck in the Minnesota zone for a while. Now offsides the call with 38 to go. Well, Pep in the step now, Panthers. Good decision by Kulikov at the blue line. Matthias immediately to the front of the net. Between the legs, Harding had to be aware. That may be the best Panther chance we've seen since the first period. And then that line stayed out there and then had another lengthy shift down to Minnesota territory. Weaver back to play in his own zone. And Barkov now over to Fleischman. Trying to lead Huberdo past him. And that's going to be an icing on the Panthers. 19.9 to go in the period. No timeout, and uh, you can't change. So whoever's out there to take this draw is going to have to take it in the centerman position. And Barkov, as you touched on, has been good in the faceoff circle. Big faceoff for the young centerman. Four out of six, he's won tonight. He'll go against Koivu. This is a big one, obviously, late in the period. Koivu pushes it behind the net. Parisi trying to stuff it home. Thomas there. And then a nice play by Gilbert to cut off the centering pass by Koivu. Down a 10 to go, Parisi. Behind Thomas's net. Gets it to the point. Held in. Pominville shot stopped by Thomas. Here's Suter in the final second. Won't get a shot off. A little dicey there to end the period, but the Panthers will go to the third, down by one goal. Really, the first five or six minutes that Minnesota was able to control, they got a power play because of it. They would end up getting the goal from Brodine, but after that, last ten minutes, much better for the Panthers. All right, second intermission coming up. We head to the desk. What do we have on tap, Drew? All right, well, thanks, guys. Coming up in the second intermission report, we'll have highlights from the first two periods of action with the Wild in front 1-0. Plus, love our Subway Spotlight player who we're looking at from the first two periods of this game. Of course, Bill Lindsay will join us to give us Billy's breakdown. That more is coming up in the second intermission report. For now, send it back to you guys in the booth. All right, Drew, thanks very much. And the Panthers with a little bit of push there late in the second period, Billy, and it seems like, as you talked about before the game, one of your keys to the game, that effort level, that hard work, that may be the only way you get one by Harding tonight. It would be. If he's seeing the puck, he's making the save. And a pretty dynamic goaltender. It's going to be an ugly one, a dirty one, a greasy one. That's, got, that's the way you got to score the goal. What went on the first 
eight, nine minutes in the period. Wild had control. What did the Panthers do to kind of turn things around and level it off the rest of the way? They started dumping pucks in. Instead of carrying it, just getting those pucks in deep and working down low. All right, let's go downstairs outside the Panther dressing room. After two periods, Erica Branson joins us now. And uh, first off, Eric, on that play, dangerous play. You get boarded there by VU. What exactly went on? What went on in the aftermath? Uh, I, I don't know. I think I just put myself in a bad position there. I mean, it was a battle for a puck. Um, you know, I, I wasn't in a good spot there, and, and uh, he obviously uh, took exception to that. But, um, you know, I, I think I just got to get back in a better spot. Just saw a good hard play against Parise and some of these big players, these boards up front. Um, how do you go against playing against a player of uh, Parise's level? Oh, you got to let him make the first move. Um, you know, those guys are skilled. If you uh, cheat towards them, they'll react and make a good play through you. So uh, you just got to, it's, it's almost a waiting game with them. Uh, have a good stick, keep, keep them to the outside and play them hard. Got to find a way in this third period. What has to be done? Oh, we need to get pucks deep and uh, better puck management in our own end. Um, you know, I'm guilty of that. I've made some bad outlet passes. And, uh, you know, we definitely need to clean that up, get out of our zone clean, and, uh, you know, start working them down low. Uh, move the puck low to high, get some point shots, and uh, crash the net. All right, Eric, good luck in the third. Thanks. Thanks. Erica Branson joining us, uh, third year in the NHL. And as we talked about, Bill, you saw that play against Parisi. We're seeing some of those hard-nosed play. That's what good Branson brings to the table after 40 minutes. The Wild are up one to nothing. Panthers Hockey on Fox Sports Florida is brought to you by Ford, powered by South Florida Ford, and by Service America. Worried about air conditioning, appliance, or plumbing repair costs? Get covered. Go to serviceamerica.com. Panthers home tonight at the bb &T Center. The Minnesota Wild in town. Wild have the only goal early in the second on the power play. They're fighting tooth and nail tonight. But after 40 minutes, it's Minnesota up by a goal. Big third period coming up. First, our second intermission. Don't go anywhere. Down. Panthers down by one after two. Looking for a comeback against the Wild here in the third period. Time for our breakdown. And for the Panthers, they're going to have to muck it out and grind it out here in the third to find a way to beat the goaltender. And not a lot of options. You see it stacked up at the blue line. What that means, you have to dump pucks in. Thomas Fleischman, and if you're going to dump pucks in, you've got to be able to win battles. Thomas Fleischman able to get that puck, dig it out. That would lead to a chance. You can roll this one. And then the goaltender... Just stop here. You're going to see now this is what you need more of. Traffic, try and block the goaltender's eyes. Roll it and get redirections. If you're going to score goals, you need traffic in front of the goaltender, Harding. Our stats after two periods. A lot of power plays tonight. Minnesota 1 for 3. Panthers 0 for 4. And the face-offs, Minnesota the best face-off team in the league. Panthers holding their own as they have the face-off advantage. Yeah, they've done a good job in that department. The hit's pretty even, and just that one deflected goal is the difference right now. And this is a big third period for the Panthers. We know what's gone on early in the year here. And after the 4-3 loss against Nashville Tuesday and then a heartbreaker, 3-2 to Boston, Panthers have been right there in these games. And they need one to go their way badly. But, yes, goes without saying. And I'm leaning on the veterans, the Fleischmans, the Versteegs, the Kapetskis, the players that have been through the wars, the Gomez's to lead the charge. Zach Parisi has led everybody tonight. He's got five shots on goal. And here we go in the third. Hammondville skates in with room and fires. He misses the target. And out at center, Huberdeau. Got it into the zone, but turned back the other way. Gilbert plays it in. It was Brodine from Heatley and Granlin. Shot reflected off a Panther stick. That's the only one of the 24 that have gotten by Tim Thomas. Panthers with just the 15 shots. But for the Wild, they give up the fewest shots in the NHL. A pad under 22. But it's normal for them. Kulikov goes down with Brodziak. Brodziak back up and has the puck. Puts it out in front. A chance here. Blocked away by Versteeg. Another chance. Scandella. That's a save by Thomas. And Fleischman now. Waits for some traffic to clear and finds Versteeg. Cross ice and shoots in. Fleischman goes after with Spurgeon. Fleischman jams him up. But right there to help out is Brodziak. Those are the battles you're going to have to win on the dump-ins. Fleischman dumps in. Versteeg's there. 
lose it, but once you dump that puck in, you got to find a way to retrieve it. Cook in front of the Panther bench, takes the bump from Bukestad as he dumps in. Kulikov turning with it, takes a hit. Kulikov will try again. Over to Campbell. Bukestad dumps in. This line had a good shift late in that second period. That time, though, the Wild able to get it by him, chip it ahead. Granlin breaks into the Florida zone. Granlin holding, try to get it in front. It's tipped away by Campbell. Smooth skating Ryan Campbell. Bukestad back to help. Niederreiter closes on him. Bukestad with the big frame absorbs the hit. But now Niederreiter takes it. Feeds Stoner at the point. The wrist shot blocked in front by Gilroy. Winchester settles it down, chops it all the way down, and this is an icing on the Panthers. Time for our ADT defensive play of the game. Eric Branson. got to play the superstars hard. Whole lot of nasty. Puts Breeze down. That's our ADT defensive play of the game. Branson's been solid. Scoring chances have been at a premium in this game. We just have not seen a lot on either side. Panthers have been good defensively overall. overall. Just that one goal on the power play given up. Yeah, that's it. And remember, Sneed got that breakaway early in the game. And I know it sounds a bit like a broken record early in the year, but the Panthers, they've had their offensive chances. You just wonder what the complexion of this game looks like if you score that first goal. It's so much different. And you've said that many times over the first few weeks of this season. That has been a common statement. Because the opportunities have been there, particularly those breakaways. Probably been, what, half a dozen breakaways now in the Panthers' nine games? A lot of them. Parisi drop past Pominville. His shot was blocked by Gilbert, the former Wild. Suter put it in front. Gotch was there. Lead for Huberdeau. Gets the red line and dumps in. Suter back. And Koivu comes out the center with Parisi. Koivu puts the brakes on. Backhands it. Pominville at the bottom of the circle. Throws it towards the net. Thomas was hugging that post, and even though that puck was he wasn't going to move, <laughs> just in case it was in the pads. Huberto for God's couldn't handle it. A little more than three minutes into this third period. Panthers back home Tuesday night for Chicago at 7.30. Tickets available at 9-5-4-8-3-5. Puck, the defending Stanley Cup champs, only visit to South Florida. It's now boys with Upstall and Gomez for the Panthers. Trying to find some offense here in the third. And this is Boys trying to get past Scandella. Boys down the wing. Boys moving in. Scandella stayed with him. And Scandella then takes it away. Looked like Boys might have had a step. Scandella, though, did a good job skating back to the faceoff dot and cutting the angle. He took a good angle against Boys. Upshaw shoots wide. Kulikov backhands it to the corner. And now Boys behind the net. Trying to get some room. Gomez was out in front. They try to get it to him. Tipped away by Bayou. Scandella puts it up the wall. And Minnesota will get out. Kulikov is hooked and goes down. They let that one go. Need a rider. And now Granlin. Centering pass. Tipped and taken by Versteeg. He'll shoot in. Versteeg and Stoner after it. Three behind the net. Steve couldn't find it. It was in his skates for a moment there. And now Mitchell stolen away by Barkov. Weaver with a point shot. Harding made the save up high. Good check by Versteeg, but good effort to get it out. But Versteeg there forces the icing. And that was a good play by Versteeg. He just dumped it in. And because of that, they put pressure on the wild and they able to get that four check. Now they have an offensive zone draw with the tired Minnesota group on the ice. Well, Versteeg now on this line with Fleischman and Barkov. A little change there for the Panthers. Wild able to win the draw in their own zone and get out. We all remember a couple of seasons ago when the Panthers won the division. How hot Versteeg and Fleischman got, along with Stephen Weiss, that line was cooking. Maybe they can get something going here in the third again with a different center. Barkov finds an open man. It's Weaver, his shot. Harding with a glove save. Versteeg was trolling around in front. Brodine, who has the goal, dumps in. 
Weaver with Heatley trailing. Nice play by Weaver. Markoff with a clear, but they don't get out cleanly. Common build the other way for the wild. Hit solidly by Gilbert. Here's Bukestad, gets around Koivu, feeds the wing. Winchester makes his way to center. Winchester chips in. Winchester goes after it. Drops it off for Bukestad. Bukestad controls, working along the boards. Down low, Matthias tries to get to the forehand. Couldn't stop it. Matthias works. Matthias is free. Good shift for Matthias, and now Kulikov with the wrist shot. It comes through wide. Campbell. Brodeen cut it off. Parisi couldn't clear, but Parisi with the back check took it away from Bukestad, but then it's lifted into the wild bench. A little more than six minutes gone by in the third. The Panthers looking to tie it up. Welcome back, everybody. Panthers trying to get that equalizer here in the third. Tight game like we expected, Billy, and before the game, you talked about one of your keys being paying attention to detail, doing the little things. How have the Panthers done so far in that department? They've been good. They've, they've played a solid game, especially defensively. What has to happen, though, you got to make sure you play like that the rest of the way. You cannot cheat the game. You cannot cheat for offense. Play good defense and you get some chances. Now you talk about little things. There's a little thing off a draw. Panthers get a power play. The fifth one coming up. Marcel Gotch able to draw the penalty. And this is a smart play. That's intentional. Gotch meant to go forward. You talk about a crafty veteran. Kanopka takes the penalty. Kanopka got beat in his own game. That was an intentional play by Gotch. Kanopka in the penalty box. What a crafty veteran play. I love that one. That's thinking on the job right there. Well, it's an opportunity now. Third straight power play in the game. And those are those details you just talked about. See if the Panthers can cash in. Wild win the faceoff and get a clear. Panthers 0 for 4 so far in the man advantage. Minnesota's goal came in a power play. Panthers try to respond. Fleischman gains the line, gives to Kulikov. He throws it cross ice. Kopetsky plays it off the wall. See if they can get set up and get Kopetsky with that traffic at the net. Markov is checked by Suter. And Brodziak unable to clear. Fleischman swings it cross ice. Smart to the open side. It's Kulikov now. Up high for Campbell. Kopetsky right there in front. The shot. You can't stop what you can't see. And we're tied at one. That's what I'm talking about, Willis. <laughs> Panthers on the board. There's the traffic in front. The one-time shot. Look at the bodies. It might be Barkov that ends up with this goal. Number 16 in front. Fleischman, I'm not sure if Barkov got a stick on it. I think he did. But you got bodies in front. You got Kapetsky. You got Barkov. You got the original shot. We've talked so much about traffic. They finally get that traffic in front of the goaltender. They get the redirection. Each team has a power play goal, and the Panthers able to tie this one up at one. Couple of guys, 6'3", 200 in the goalie's face. And it works. Huge goal for the Cats. Matthias backhands in. Huge stat after it. Matthias in there as well. Three wild players. But the Panthers win the battle. Winchester puts it in front, but Scandella well positioned. So we're now even at one. They've exchanged power play goals in this game. Right now they give it to Fleischman. As we get a stoppage here, it's 45 left. Barkov right there in front, the 18-year-old. One more look at the goal, and I did definitely change his directions. I think it's Barkov. I think Barkov got yeah. it, too. It changed up high, and that's one way you're going to beat that goaltender. And to me, it goes way back to that savvy veteran play on that faceoff by Marcel Gotch. I mean, that, talk about a crafty little play. Kanopka had no idea what he was doing on that drive. Went forward with it. Kanopka takes the penalty. Breezy couldn't gather it in, but it's held it at the point. Spurgeon. It goes to Barkov. His third of the year from Fleischman and Campbell. Penalty coming up here. Oh, this one's going to be on the Panthers. So now the Wild right back at a power play chance. It's a holding call, and Gilbert is not happy. Has Bach Mara made every call? The referee, it seems like every time we look up, 
He's definitely called the majority Corona, of them. number 23. Two minutes for holding the stick. So and Gomez, the penalty on him. Gilbert was the one that was arguing the call we saw there. And ah. boy, oh boy, tough. Well, got to kill it. And a penalty kill. Fourth time tonight. Wilder one for three. Koivu, Parisi, Pominville. Sawyer up at the point. More than a third of Minnesota's shots tonight on goal have come on the power play. Suter takes a shot. Thomas saw that one. And he'll hold in the glove. A lot of special teams activity from the, the refs. Back and forth we go. Here's the penalty down low. Gomez, number 23, reaching out with that free hand, and boy, that wasn't Ooh. much. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Boy, the stick got stuck in that midsection. Either way, Wild working on the man advantage, and they win the draw. Koivu, Parise's side of the net, looking out in front. Comes up to Suter. Parise is so tough when he's down at that goal line, handling the puck. Weaver ni nicely got a piece of it. Weaver plays it up the boards. God's trying to roll it out. They couldn't do it. Koivu, checked by Campbell, and now it's out. Remember, I was talking to Mike Weaver this morning. He, uh, he talked to me about breaking down a play and backing up from the middle of the net. He just backed up and took that pass away, and then I guess maybe he knows a little more than I do. We have another penalty here. My goodness. Now it's going to be a slash. Ouch. Now who's this one on? Harding was... Going to the net. Yeah, so I assumed it bench. was on the Panthers. Harding was trying to get off the ice. And nobody knew who it was on, but it's going to be on fly, uh, on Campbell. He had no idea. And now a five-on-three for extended time. Oh, boy. Of all, the, of, all, of all the players that take a penalty, Brian Campbell, one of the most least unlikely, rarely, rarely does he ever end up in the penalty box. Five-on-three for a minute 19. We'll get a timeout called here. You know, I talked to Weaver in the pregame show, Panthers Live, and he said we get one of the keys, we got to stay out of the box. Don't give them opportunity. They've scored 10 of their 19 goals on the power play. Ooh, come on. Wow. That's just not enough to warrant a power play this late in the game. Uh, it is not. I understand. That's not, it's not a slash. It's not. It's just a tap on the hands. you got to let the guys play a little bit. How many penalties has Brian Campbell had in his Panther career? Four or five? Yeah, so well, two years ago, he had two or three all year. He's only had one this year. So. Come, not many, and I mean, yeah. that does not warrant a penalty in a 1-1 hockey game to put a team down five on three like that. It's so not here we something go. I agree with. Yeah, no, no question. Weaver got there with Goodbranson and Kopetsky. See if the Panthers can survive this. Kevin Deneen trying to get a message to Kopetsky. You hear him yelling, Kopi. Pominville will take the draw. Wild go with four forwards out there along with Suter. Five on three time for Minnesota. Tie game in the third. Gotch pulls it back. Parisi checks Weaver. Weaver goes down. But Branson checks Pominville. Parisi rolls it up to the point. Koivu's got it now. Up high with Suter. Heatley, the big body, out there as well. Trying to cause the problems in front of Thomas. Pominville throws it on goal. Save. Parisi shot. Save by Thomas. Rebound shift. It may have caught the post. Suter now lost it to Marcel Gotch. Good Branson on the side of the net got a piece of it. Second effort. I'm not sure it might have hit post two goalie, but Branson got a piece of it. Well, Branson's made some big defensive plays, and this is an icing. Oh, they wave it off at the last second. I mean, oh boy, that's a tough one for the Panthers. Remains five on three. Thought it was going to be an icing. Here's Pominville setting up shop. Parisi side of the net on the near side. He's got it now. Suter goes to the middle of the ice. Pominville back to the point out of the reach of Koivu. 15 seconds on the first minor to Gomez. Panthers get some new personnel out there. Winchester on along with Gilbert. Branson on the ice too. Suter setting up. Koivu one-timer off the heel of his stick. Parisi back for Koivu again. He'll wind. Goes cross ice. Jesse Winchester. Oh, he nearly hit Gomez coming out of the box. Winchester read him like a book. Gomez came out in the perfect timing. If Winchester recognized that and held on to it, Gomez would have been off to the races. Good stick positioning. Stick in lanes. 25 to go now on the five on four. Cook down the wing. Gilbert steps in on him. And Weaver 
Cut off in the corner, though, by Fontaine. Puck deflected to the boards. And did that one catch the mesh? It did up and out of play. Down a 10 left on the Campbell penalty. What penalty killing by the Panthers? This is the fourth best power play in the league. Large in charge. Going to go across to Parise. 44. Gabranson right there. Oh, Takes yeah. it off the chest. That's about selling yourself out to block a shot. Takes it right in the chest. Gabranson has had an exceptional game. That hybrid icing, that was a tough one for the linesman. I mean, you're trying to watch the puck. You're watching guys in a foot race. Free puck in the circle. Played by the Wilds. Brodine, who has the Minnesota goal tonight. Now it's Granlin hanging on to it on the forehand. Brodine again. Here's the shot. Comes through wide off the back of the net. Campbell is back. We're even strength. Upshaw hustles over. And the Panthers have it. It's got able to flip it out the panthers survive great penalty killing a minute 19 a five on three play for minnesota they're back in the zone again it's granlin looking for an opening skipped away put back to the corner though fleischman with a check on niederreiter spurgeon's gonna hold the puck in we approach nine to go in the third in a one one game panthers got it even a few minutes ago on a barkoff power play goal Cats need to clear badly. Granlin checked by Gilbert. Barkoff is out there. Shoved by Cook. Hard work along the wall. Mike Weaver away with it. And Weaver's lead pass just out of the reach of Fleischman. It's going to roll on goal, so no icing. Wild trying to break out. Couldn't do it. Fleischman settles it down on the backhand. Stipped away easily by Harding to the corner. Bukestad now. Poked off his stick. Kulikov shoots in. And things will settle down for a moment. Even strength hockey. Brodziak at the Panther line. Campbell gets back. Kulikov. Up to center. Knocked away there. Poked into the Panther zone. Kulikov uses the body well against Fontaine. Kulikov's been good tonight. Now it's Huberto. Moving through center, Bukestad is with him. Huberto with Bukestad going to the net. Huberto shot saved by Harding. And he'll grab it with the glove. Great action again at the bb &T Center. The Panthers trying to get it done and check out Eric Good Branson saving the bacon. Sir, coming to town Tuesday night, defending Stanley Cup champions, Joel Quenville will lead his team. Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves. They are loaded. Come see some of the game's best. Another stern test for the Panthers on Tuesday at 7. That's Panthers live pregame at 7. Face off 7.30 game three of the six-game homestand. Panthers again, like the other night, tied in the third. Trying to get this one done tonight. Puck batted around over the Panther line. Matt Gilroy. Got it to Huberdo. He couldn't get out cleanly, but Gilroy scoops it up. Shoots over the line. Suter gets back for Minnesota. Suter is up over 24 minutes already tonight. He's usually in those high 20s, and he'll be there again. Parisi behind the Florida net. Gotch won't let him go. Good work by Marcel Gotch. Suter in the corner. Checked by Kopetsky. Popped off the stick of Kulikov. Here's Koivu. Pominville back for Koivu, but Kopetsky got a stick in the lane. Koivu again, though. Minnesota's top line buzzing now. Parisi puts it right in front. Gilroy tips it to Huberdo. And up ahead, it's Kopetsky. One-on-one -on -one with Brodeen. Kopetsky fan on the shot attempt, but then able to get a piece of it. Barkov on the ice, hustles after the puck. Barkov battling two wild players. Brodeen able to flip it up the boards, and Parisi does the rest. Look out here. Niederreiter with Kulikov. Good check by Kulikov. Here's a shot by Cook. He blasted that one wide. Shots are now 27-20, right about the average for Minnesota. They allow 21.8 a game. And their shot differential, they usually have eight more than the opponent. That's second in the NHL, so 
They're right on average, icing the call here. Billy mentioned Tuesday night, the Blackhawks are in town. It's also a special cigar night at the bb &T Center. Call Rachel, get in on this. You're going to have a great time at 954-835-7205. You mentioned that plus eight goal differential. Second in the NHL, number one, San Jose. They're plus 16. They're, they're unreal, huh? Yeah, 6-1-1 on the season. You don't shoot your team, other team, by 16 every night. We're going to win more often than not. Bukestad won the draw. Gilbert fires. It goes wide. Upshaw is out there as well. Matthias trying to get the wrap around. Here's Upshaw. He got shoved into the net. And it became dislodged. What a nice face-off win by Bukestad. Panthers have been solid in that face-off circle against a very, very tough face-off team. Bukestad, a right-handed centerman. That puck was rolling. Cook able to get in the shooting lane. Darren down, Darren down. Face-offs. It's important that you're as intensive face-offs that you are in every aspect of the game. Bukestad able to win that one, and he's going to stay out to take another one. The draws have been even, and Bukestad's won four of his six tonight. He goes against Kanopka here, and now Matthias is going to have to step in. Bukestad will switch sides with Upshaw. Off the draw, pulled back by Kanopka for Suter. Around for Brodziak. Bukestad on the back check. And the Wilds still able to get it deep in the Panthers' zone. Upshaw, nice little feed for Bukestad. Moves through center. Bukestad batted over the blue line. Matthias there. Matthias pushes it to the corner. Bukestad, nice hit there on Mitchell. And good Branson at the point takes a shot block. Heatley, he gets bumped. Good Branson hustles back. Two wild players right there with him. Good Branson and Brodziak jammed up. Matthias in the scrum. And Kopetsky is away with it. Sends Gotch on his way to center. He'll chip it off the boards and get after it. And Gotch is there looking in front for Kopetsky at the flex. Headed back to his own end as we approach five minutes to go. Can, can count the chances five on five on one hand. There hasn't been anything. Both of these teams have put the clamps down five on five. Commonville chases after it deep in the Panther zone, looking out in front. Doesn't have a man, holds the puck. Now Pominville goes cross ice. Spurgeon steps into a shot deflected by Huberdo. And it's up and out of play. Down the stretch we come. Another nail biter for the Panthers. Less than five minutes to go. Kevin Deneen and the Panthers in desperate need of a win. Here's our game recap. The Panther goal came earlier in the period on Barkov's redirection in front. Minnesota's goal came from Brodine on the power play in the second. Actually went in off a Panther stick. Shots are 27-20 in favor of the Wild. And once again, like the other night, we're tied late in the third. Panthers control off the draw. They've been good in the circle again. Minnesota's best in the NHL. The Panthers have been right there with them. But the Wild work it free. Parisi swings it around the boards. Gilbert there with Koivu. Barkov there as well. He's able to get it to Fleischman who clears. Barkov, Fleischman, and Versteeg on the ice for Florida. Pominville creeping in. And Pominville controls. Brodine under pressure. Fleischman got a piece of it. Jumps high in the air. Bouncing puck. Look at Barkov. In control. Calm and clear. Seen a lot from Barkov this game. The both sides of the puck. The maturity of an 18-year-old kid. He's just barely 18 at that. Barkov now with six points in his first nine NHL games. And we get an offsides call here. 4.06 to go. Accurate collision of the game. Sean Mathias. Boom. Shoulder into the chest. It's been that kind of game as Brodine, the goal scorer for the Wild, took the brunt of it. Face off at center ice here. Dodge, Kopetsky, and Huberto. And Thomas Kopetsky came over the line, put the play off sides. Another whistle, down to four to go. And the assist tonight on the goal, Fleischman now has eight points in the first nine games. He's had some good goal-scoring chances, hasn't been able to cash in on those, but he's picking up points. Flash is consistent. 
played every single game in a Panther uniform since he's been here, along with Brian Campbell. They've been the mainstays. Campbell got the second assist on the goal by Barkov early in the period of tie. Gotch now on the faceoff. So it's deep in the Minnesota zone. Gotch won it. Campbell. Kopetsky in the corner. Kanopka there. Kopetsky was able to play it for a moment, but then it comes out of the zone. Kulikov in a race with Granlin. Granlin gets there. And Cook puts it behind the Florida net. Tim Thomas plays it around the boards. Picked up by Niederreiter. Here's a shot. Hit the post. And then it deflected in wide. Open chance for the Wild, and it caught the iron. Backhander towards the net deflected behind the cage. Niederreiter again. Kulikov after it. Scandella held it in one more time. Panthers need a clear badly. Grantland puts it out in front. Deflected away at the last minute. Huberdeau will wait for traffic to clear. Little Panthers love. survive it. No love from the iron. Need a break. Panthers. Any team needs a couple breaks, it's the Panthers. They get one there. Bukestad back out along with Matthias and Winchester. Winchester at center. Picked off by Brodziak. Brodine. And now it's Mitchell. No! Near the line's been yelling no, meaning no icing. Brodziak kicks it out in front of the net. Look out! Big save by Thomas on Danny Heatley. 37 left, Tim Thomas comes up big. We haven't talked about Thomas a lot tonight. But he's stopped 27 at 28. Getting a little love from the goalpost. Is it just kind of funny? He might have got a tiny piece of that with his blocker. And this is the chance on Heatley in front. Look at Dieter Ryder. He's played well tonight. Off the draws, Rodine putting it behind the Panther net. Weaver cut it off. Chris Versteeg loses Brodziak and gets the puck to Gilbert. Barkov at the red line. Knocked off his stick, free puck. And then the very late offsides call. That was close. Another look at the post and the goaltender, Tim Thomas, from the overhead. Watch the blocker. As it comes, he just got a piece of it with his blocker to change directions, just enough. If he doesn't get it with the blocker, it's a goal. You can see that puck change directions. So it probably didn't get recorded as a shot on net, but it was. Great look there by the Fox Sports Florida cameras. Versteeg with some good work and Barkov along the boards. And now Fleischman battling. He shoots, saved by Harding. That's all three forwards with some nice work. One of your keys to the game, Billy, and they showed it right there late in the third. It's been a meat, meat and potatoes game. 1-1, <laughs> one, one, and this one, it's got overtime written all over it. Some hard work down below. Again, big bark off. And then flash, hard of the net. Here's Bukestad back out again for this draw. He's got Boys and Matthias with him. See if Bukestad can win another one. And let's see, Boys was jumping along with Suter over there. They're kicking Koivu out. All right. Granlin will come in against Bukestad. And Bukestad won it again. Matthias, strong goes in behind the net. Matthias hanging out of the puck, waiting for some help, gives to Bukestad. But it comes free along the board. Bukestad jammed up with Koivu. And now we're going to get a hand pass called. So a stoppage, 155 left. Bukestad, as you mentioned, Kevin Nadine talked about him this morning. said he's been fine. He's been good in that faceoff circle. I've been able to use him late in games. And for a youngster, he's only 11 NHL games coming into this season. He's in a critical role out there. Kevin Nadine showing some confidence in Bukestad. Well, he's won five to seven draws. And a few of them here in the third. That time, Granlin beat him. Spurgeon, lead pass, Gulikov cut it off. Granlin was trying for a break. Allows Boys to shoot the other way. Bukestad is after it with Matthias. Bukestad in the corner, fighting off two wild players. Centering feed comes all the way through the slot. Campbell, late in the game, thought better of taking the chance and jumping up. Now it's Cook the other way. This one chips high in the air and bounces to the corner. Kulikov with Niederreiter, and Campbell plays it up the board, Scandella. 
put it back down low. Campbell won the battle with Niederreiter. Boyce puts it out to center ice. Campbell settles it down in his own end. Dmitry Kulikov, they give to Gotch. Luberdo is out there with Kopetsky as well. Kopetsky, first man, backhander towards the net, sticked away by Harding. Clock rolls under a minute. Parisi, try to clear, it was deflected. Brodine, the simple play off the wall, batted back by Huberdo. Brodine again. Huberdo with a steal at center. Smartly gets the red line and shoots in. Brodine still out there. Kopetsky trying to cause problems for him. Panthers try to work the four check. Squirts free to center. Fleischman shoots in. And oh, we're going to get an icing call here on the Panthers. 24.8 to go. The draw back in the Florida zone. No timeout for Kevin and Amy. He's used it up. Players on the ice he's got to roll with. He can't change sentiments. He can't change on an icing. And again, the youngster. How about this for an 18-year-old kid? The big draw. Barkoff leaning in. Looks like he'll go against Granlin. Free puck right at the dot. Weaver steps in and sends Barkoff to center. He put it in front of the Panther bench. Now cut off by Fleischman with 15 to go. Try to flip it down the ice. It didn't work. Gilbert and Weaver with 10. Sends it all the way down. And we're going to get another icing call on the Panthers with five seconds left. So one more face-off in the Florida zone. Barkoff 1-1. One, one. Talk about an 18-year-old coming through in the clutch. Here you go, 18 years old. A big draw against the number one face-off team. Ties the stick up, uses his skates. Impressive. I mean, how about that? You talk about the little thing, the little <laughs> kick back to Weaver. Loving it. I and mean, he just knows the game. One more. Yeah, one more to get it to overtime here. Barkoff this time against the veteran Koivu. And Koivu wins it. Wild looking to get a shot away. And we will go for the first time this year for the Panthers to overtime. Florida does its job for 60 minutes. Billy, they grind it out. Tim Thomas, 27 saves. He'll go against Harding. OT is next. One one, Kevin and Ian and his guys going overtime for the first team, time all year. If ever a game deserved to be tied one one, I mean, it has been an even battle all night. Both teams get a power play goal. Not much happening. Five on five. Well played defensively by both sides. The goaltenders have been stellar. Mike Yo drawing out his four on four line combinations. I like his haircut. One of the best. Cheered him. Go to the same barber. Rammer, too. Craig Ramsey. All right. Four on four, Billy. He's a set first one this year for the Panthers. Wild have lost the game in overtime and lost in a shootout as well. There's a look at Tim Thomas in his career. Boy, too bad for Thomas. The only one that got by him tonight. A deflection off a Panther stick that dribbled in. He's been strong. Shots on the third. Very limited. Six for the Panthers. Four for Minnesota. Four on four hockey, it's man on man, which means the forwards have the defensemen and vice versa. It's different than five on five hockey and it's man on man. You gotta pay attention, the open ice and this is where Parise, Koivu will be dangerous. The checkers come out, Kopetsky and Gotch to match up. Yeah, they go with the veterans, those two along with Weaver and Gilbert on defense to start the four on four overtime. Gotch pulls it back to his own line, Gilbert. And now Weaver. Boy, could the Panthers use a shot in the arm and getting a win here tonight? Gotch flips in. Kopetsky and Suter after it. Suter checked by Gotch, but he gets it free to Koivu. Three on two for the Wild. Koivu. And now Parisi sets up Koivu. Deflected away by Gilbert. Good shoulder by Kopetsky on Koivu. But it's held in the zone. And now a chance, Brodeen. Oh, and deflected Thomas fell backwards. 
They made contact with him. Panthers desperate for a clear. Kopetsky gets the center. Late in the shift, he plays it back. And now some new skaters. Huberto is out there, along with Fleischman, who's been active tonight. Campbell as well with Kulikov. A minute into four on four overtime. Kulikov spins away from Commonville. He finds Campbell moving in. Trailer is Huberto. Takes a shot well wide. Kulikov over to play it. With the center, Kulikov again. Fleischman heads to the bench. And reluctantly, I believe, so does Huberto. <laughs> He was looking for some puck possession. Versteeg is on him. Butte stat in overtime. The Minnesota native. Versteeg all the way in. Bouncing puck. Rodziak after it. Gilroy strong knocks it away. And Versteeg trying to work his way up the boards, but Suter pushes it out of his own. Pass was stolen away by Heatley. Jammed up with Gilroy, who goes down hard. Versteeg finds Gilroy. Lead pass. Bukestad now trying to swipe it into the Minnesota zone. Heatley circles back. No shots yet in overtime. Both teams being careful here. Barkov is on the ice now. He's got the Panther goal tonight. Upshaw out there as well. Parisi and Koivu for Minnesota. Always dangerous. Here's Scotty Upshaw giving to Barkov, who has room. The 18-year-old Barkov into the offensive zone. Makes a move. Gets around Stoner. Plays it back for Weaver along the boards. He'll throw it in front off Upshaw's stick. Upshaw's on it. Puts it back to the corner. Barkov with Dumba. Stoner away with it. Barkov trailing him. And Parisi gets out. Koibu at center. Puck to flex. Dumba now, ahead for Parisi, takes a shot, stick save by Thomas. Parisi on it again, checked, and here comes Matthias. Fleischman joins the rush, Matthias is in, oh, they're offside, and Kulikov was off the bench trying to join as well. Kulikov sprinted out of the bench, it would have been a three on two, fans not happy, the booze rain down. Is it offside or not? Big hit by Weaver on Parisi. Kulikov is changing for Weaver, you see him jump there quickly. Oh, he lost the puck, and he skated over. I have to see where that puck was. It was close. If he doesn't lose that puck, then it's no offside. Yeah, and, and he was coming yeah. to the near side, and Fleischman was going the other way. Kulikov was coming late. He was yep. going to be the most dangerous, dangerous man on the play. Last time the Panthers won an overtime game was in March. Dmitry Kulikov scored the game winner. Here comes Granlin with speed trying to pick his way in. Pominville, Granlund again, Pominville again, Brodeen, Campbell able to control, slides it ahead past Huberdo, Huberdo's going to win the race, no icing, Harding way out of his net, plays it around, Huberdo on the loose puck, Fleischman shoots, the save, big stop by Harding, who for a moment was caught out of the net, I thought maybe right there. Huberto had the wheels turning. Huberto never stops on the play. Harding does not play it hard enough, and he was almost his own worst enemy. He recovers to make the save with the glove. 112 left here in overtime. Versteeg, Huberto, Campbell and Gilbert offensive zone draw. One by Brodziak. And Ella lead pass, Brodziak over the Panther line, lets one go. Reflected off the stick of Gilbert over the net. Brodziak has it again, had trouble, gathers it in, throws it out towards the front of the net, came through everybody. Niederreiter controls, Niederreiter takes a shot, Tim Thomas is there. 44 seconds left. Timmy Two Tom Thomas is Hard up and hugging that post from a sharp angle, a quick shot. How about Tim Thomas? We haven't talked. I mean, last few games, exceptional goaltending, really has been. 
No, he's been outstanding, and he's given him a chance to win. And that's what you want. 30 to 29 saves on the 30 shots now. This face off in the Panther zone. Gotch again against Koibu. And Gotch does the job. Tom Gilbert. Panthers look to go. It's Barkov. Blue line. Red line. Over the wild line. Barkov sweeps wide. Rodin knocked it away. Kopetsky along the boards. Kulikov puts the pressure on. But Rodin moved it around for Parisi with 15 left in overtime. Up to center. Koibu is in. Koibu makes the move on the backhand. Fed it right through the slot. Parisi sharp angle shot. Koibu's got it again in the final seconds. In front of Tim Thomas. Robbery on Parisi to get into a shootout. What a stop by Thomas. The best for the last. That was his best save of the game. Dying seconds on the clock. Got a little thievery. Wow. Mm. That pass. And Timmy Thomas, we're going to a shootout. Electrifying save. Thomas with 30 saves. That huge one late in overtime. And we'll see where the Panthers go with. They've got some new players. Barkov and Deneen. A little wry smile for his 39-year-old veteran goaltender, Tim Thomas. And Brad Boys in his career has been excellent in shootouts as well. Be interested to see who they roll out. Now you know who is going to be one. Question, what, what's the order as well? Of course, Dmitry Kulikov's done it a few times. And when they practice, Kulikov's out there. Some talent on the other side for the Wild. So we get the Zambonis on the ice. We wait for the shootout. Koibu's up over 40% in his career. Parisi is at 46%. Those are high numbers. NHL average on penalty shots, shootout, somewhere in the high 20s in percentage. Mine would have been in the high one percentile range, maybe at best. He might have got in. It was like a 9 or 10 round or 11 or How many players? 18? 17 or 18. I would have been <laughs> in the batting order, but this is fun. And this is these points, 2 and 6. The points now, the extra points. I mean, this becomes a very, very large shootout. There's a look at Huberdo. So good with those great moves last year on penalty shots and the shootouts. He was two for four in the shootouts. Had a couple of penalty shot goals as well. And Tim Thomas, the aggressive goal then, and we'll see if he comes out a lot. Challenge that shooter. Parisi, Koivu, and Pominville. The top line for the while will be the first three shooters for Michael Yo. Kevin, and he's still having some words with the linesman. I wonder if it's still that icing. Yeah, that high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a tough back one. Win. Well, if ever a game was, I mean, this game was about as closely played between two teams as you could get. From face-offs to shots on net to scoring chances to power plays. It was... It had 1-1-0-0 one, one, zero, zero written all over it. Huberto, Boys, and Barkov. No big shot there for the Panthers. Boys is up around 40%. There's a look at the official sheets that the coach is handing. You see at the bottom on the left, the coaches have to sign it as well. The official signature is folded, but Kevin Deneen on the other side. There's a look at the first three. 20-year-old and an 18-year-old. 20-year-old Huberto to start it off, and the 18-year-old Barkov. How about if it comes down to the stick of Barkov at 18 years Ooh. old? See the maturity of the young man. I don't care who you are, Goldie. This is one area where you feel nerves as a player because you actually have to think. And I was always told if you're thinking, you're hurting the team. That's another reason <laughs> I would never be in a shootout. But and that's you. You're thinking. Yes. Maybe others aren't. You know. Well, you have to think a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Because the, the rest of the sport is reactionary. Sure. So you're coming in. There has to be some thought process in what you're going to do. When you actually get up to the goaltender, then there's some reaction. But it's the one time when everyone's watching and the spotlight, I guarantee you, Many NHLers will tell you this will be the most nervous they will ever be in a hockey game actually taking a penalty shot. So if it does come down to the 18-year-old Alexander Barkov, he'll be feeling some nerves, the poise, the patience. 
that we talked about. It'll be interesting to see. And there's Tim Thomas, his career numbers in the shootout. If you're a hockey fan and go to YouTube, you've seen some of those great goals by Barkov over in the Finnish League. So Zach Parisi, one of the better ones in the NHL, will begin the shootout against Tim Thomas. won this season for the Panthers, second for Minnesota. They lost their only shootout this year. Brodine in the second period, Barkov in the third for the Panthers, and that's how we got here. We wait, and here comes Parisi. Gonna gather in and go right up the middle. In on Thomas, Parisi, try to tuck it home, nothing to do with Thomas stayed with him all the way, he put it on the outside of the net. Access denied. Thomas is going to bite on the first move. He bit, but he did not commit. He's able to, he didn't bite enough that there was enough room for Parise to wrap it around. Parise hits the side of the net. Here comes Huberdo. Trying to give the Panthers the lead. Huberdo on Harding. Holding. Oh, what a move! He gave you a little Saturday night. Hoobie dooby doo. You got to love the kid. Nobody does the voodoo like Hoobie doo. He puts the hex on the goaltender, Harding. Oh, oh shake a big. That's just filthy. Ha <laughs> ha, nasty. <laughs> Break me off a little piece of that. Huberto with the goal. The backhand, forehand. Harding was in the corner by the time Huberto was done. The captain, Miko Koivu, gathers it in. Koivu in on Thomas with speed. The backhand. Oh, Tim Thomas with the quick run. And now the Panthers are in a position to win it. Nico Koivo didn't elevate it high enough. Reaches out with the leather. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber for Tim Thomas. New Panther Brad Boys can end it. Boys on Harding. Boys goes to the backhand. Sayonara. Boys and Huberdo. And the saves by Thomas. Oh, did the Panthers need this one badly? They pile off the bench. The shootout win on over Minnesota, two to one the final. Just what the doctor ordered. Definitely a dose of medicine came the Panthers' way when they needed it most. A big sigh of relief from the coaching staff, the players. A little bit up here in the broadcast booth. The Rats come down, the Panthers get their second victory on home ice, their third victory of the season. Open up the wickets and slide it between Brad Boys. That was nifty right there from the veteran boys. Panthers win the shootout two to nothing. They win the game two to one. Another look at boys, you saw well up over 40% in his career. Times they are a change and the Panthers got some skill now in the shootouts and Tim Thomas, much deserved win. And the Panthers needed this one badly to get to one and one on this big six game homestand. And as much as the win in the record, if nothing else, really the confidence level, they really needed to get in that win call. They had to, and it was an important win. Two and six, three and seven. I mean, I mean, two and seven, three and six. The difference is almost it's 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 monumental. It's big. It's really five games under. You're way behind early. Three and six. They're able to get the win. Tim Thomas, the goaltending, and all around really strong. We said details, but they didn't sacrifice defense for offense tonight. As you take a look on the game stars, Thomas Weissman, they were committed from start to finish. And they end up with that victory. The Panther fans can go home, go home happy for an evening. Here comes Tim Thomas. Great effort. Tim Thomas took the year off, came back to play hockey here with South, in South Florida.